In this video, I'm going to show you how to root the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 running 4.4.4. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to revert that back to 4.4.2. So we're going to downgrade. I'm going to downgrade it back to 4.4.2. I'm going to root it. Then I'm going to upgrade it back to 4.4.4 and still keep root. So just follow the directions as I do them and everything should work perfectly. This is on the N900A, which would be the AT&T model. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you got to do, you got to put your Note 3 down into download mode. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. Power off. Okay, the next thing you do, you want to hold the power button. The down button, sorry, the power button, the down button, and the home button. All, all at once. Power, volume down, home button. It should take you to this screen. This is the download screen. You're going to hit volume up to continue. And you are now in download mode. So I'm going to take you to my computer and I'm going to show you what to do from there. Once you have all your files downloaded, which I will have the link in the description, you are going to need five files. So, you're going to need the firmware, the stock firmware, which is 4.4.2. You're going to need safe strap recovery. You're going to need the factory ROM that's rooted, which is 4.4.4. And you're going to need the stock kernel. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to download the factory stock ROM 4.4.2. It's going to take you to the Android file host. You want to hit begin download. It is a 1.3 gigabyte file, so depending on your internet speed, it's how fast it's going to go from there. You want to click on primary download. Once that finishes downloading, you want to download Odin. That would be step 7. That would be Odin 3.10. You want to click on that. Same thing, same everything. Begin download, primary download. The next thing you want to do is you want to extract both of those files to your desktop. So you're going to get this file and you're going to get this file. You want to open up Odin and you want to right click it, the application file, and you want to hit run as administrator. The UAC will come up and you're going to hit yes. Once that Odin has come on, you're going to have your phone connected into download mode, which you have already done. You want to make sure auto reboot is checked and you want to make sure F reset time is checked. Next, you want to click on AP. Once you click on AP, you're going to have to look for the file you downloaded which would be in your desktop or wherever you saved it that would be the NC2 uh, baseband so NC2 is 4.4.2 you want to open that and you want to click on the tar file you want to hit open and then down here it's going to say do not unplug the cable please wait if your Odin says not responding give it a couple minutes it will refresh itself. You just got to be patient with this. If it still says it's not responding, uh, just go ahead and unplug your cable, your USB cable, and it should work. That's what I just did. It wasn't responding for a couple for a couple seconds, longer than expected. I unplugged the USB cable, let it refresh, connected it right up, and now it says it's successful and is valid. Okay, so once you have that in there, you want to click on start. Let your phone do its thing. This does take about maybe four minutes. Let that do its thing. Don't rush it. I'm going to pause this video and I'm going to wait for it to finish up. Okay, so now it's installing the modem. Um, that should be the last thing it's installing. Okay, so now it's installing the cache. So it should be finishing up here. Um, that did take about five minutes. So like I said, you have to be patient with it. And there you go. You see my phone, your phone will restart. And you do get a pass symbol. You can now unplug the U the USB from your phone. Okay, so the first thing you want to do so you don't get boot loops, you want to remove the battery and you want to take it off. Once you take it off, you want to put it back in. And you want to hold down the power, volume up, and the home button. Valium power up home button all at the same time. 
Okay, you get a little blue recovery coming up. And you do get the custom unlocks. Okay, there's a little Android, broken Android. Okay, and then the next thing you want to do, if I can get it to focus. Okay, you want to go down with the volume down button. You want to click on a wipe data factory reset. You want to press the power button to select. You want to scroll down to yes. And you want to hit accept. Let it do its thing. There you go, it's complete. You want to go down to wipe cache portions. You want to hit the power button, same thing. And there you go, it's complete. You want to reboot the system now. Okay, so we're going to let that reboot. By doing this, it will fix your boot loops. So you you were on 4.4.4. Now you will be on 4.4.2. So I'm going to let this restart. You should get an Android upgrading. So I'm going to wait for that to come up. And then I'll pause it. And then I'll start right back up. You should get a little white, a little blue light on top. That means it's loading the files and it's not you're not in a boot loop. So if you're not getting that blue light that keeps like going dim in and out, that means you're in, you're in boot loop. So you gotta you gotta do the wipe. Okay, it dimmed out, so that might mean it might be going somewhere. Okay, there you go. AT and T ready. Okay, you want to hit remind me later. Exit. Um, I agree. I understand. Next, next. This doesn't matter because you're gonna you're gonna restore it again anyways. Back to four point four point four. Okay, so now we are back on four point four point two. Just check about device. And there you go, four point four point two. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to connect your phone to your computer and you want to drag the safe strap to your phone so I'm going to take it to my computer and I'm going to show you that okay so you want to connect your phone you want to download the safe strap just it is all on the block so just go ahead and download it there it's an APK you want to go to your device and I would prefer to drag it into your micro SD card so I'm gonna put it on my micro SD card and there it is safe strap once you drag it in your phone you wanna go into your files so you wanna find my files there it is my files you wanna you wanna locate that so SD memory card and there it is safe strap it's gonna say uh, for security purposes, you have to allow unknown sources. So to to allow unknown sources, you want to click settings. Scroll down, uncheck verify apps, and you want to check unknown sources. You want to hit. You want to uncheck allow initial installation only. Uncheck that, so it can always do that. So hit OK. Go back. Back to your safe strap, and you want to hit install. Let that install and then you want to hit done. Once you have that installed, you want to root. So, to root, you want to go to my blog website on your phone. Step two, you want to download and install Tower Root. So, I'm going to click on Tower Root. I will, I will have that fixed. The URL was, was incorrect, but I will fix it. So it takes you to this website, and then you want to click on this pie look upside down Y. It's going to say starting downloading. There it is, tr.apk. You want, to, you want to click that, and you want to hit install, just like you did with the safe strap. Okay, app installed. You want to hit open. 
you want to open that and you want to click on make it rain okay you want to hit make it rain thank you for using tile root you should have root no reboot required once you have that installed you want to go back to your home screen what you want to do is you want to go to the you want to download busybox so I'm going to take you back to my blog you want to download busybox you want to open that and you want to hit play store it should open up and you hit install accept okay so it looks like it's updating my other other application so I'm gonna stop that it might be doing the same thing to you so you might want to stop that too so you hit on stop and then you search up busy box busy the free version there is a pro version if you want to pay for that I don't find it necessary okay so it's successfully installed you want to open up busybox and you want to hit install that it's just telling you if you want to buy it no thank you so now it's gathering your information and it's going to process a whole bunch of files so let that do its thing Okay, so it looks like we installed it. So the next thing you want to do is you want to go back to safe safe strap. Click on safe strap and you want to click on install recovery. This time it should say busy box. There you go. Now reboot to recovery is now you can cl it's clickable. So the next thing you want to do is you want to drag you want to make sure if we have root so you want to go to root checker root root checker you want to download the first one by Joey Cran install accept it's installing root checker agree Okay. Okay, so your, your my current device is a Samsung Galaxy Note 3, which is the N900A. Current version I'm running is Android 4.4.2. We just rooted it. We just installed the recovery on it. Let's see if it worked. Verify root. Congratulations. This device has root access. It is a success. So, the next thing you want to do is you want to upgrade your note for to the latest 4.4.4 I'm gonna take it on my computer and I'm gonna show you the files you need to download have your phone connected to your computer you're gonna drag a few files to your phone or you can just download it on my website factory RAM but since I have it on my computer I'm just gonna drag it to my phone okay it is now in my phone which is right here stock rooted 4.4.4 so it is the NJ5, which is what you're on now, which is was was for point four and point four, but right now you're on the NC2. Okay, so once you have this file, this file you do not need. You're gonna hit yes if if you don't even you're not even gonna have it downloaded because it's not on there. So once you have that in there, I'm gonna show you how to reboot and to save strap recovery and install this file. Once you have the stock 4.4.4 pre-rooted zip ROM you're going to want to reboot into recovery so with safe strap you download that you want to open that safe strap and you want to hit reboot to recovery if it doesn't reboot into recovery you might have to uninstall recovery and install it again so if it doesn't boot up if it doesn't restart into recovery by itself 
uninstall it, and then install it again. You want to hit reboot to recovery. You should get a custom sign. If not, you're going to have to uninstall it and reinstall it again. Okay, there it came up. So the next thing you want to do is you want to click on install. You want to scroll down and you want to click on on the rooted stock rooted which is the NJ5 which is 4.4.4 .4 you want to click on that and you want to swipe to confirm flash these little commands should pop up just give this time to do it it should do it all by itself there you go N900 stock and KitKat 4.4.4 .4 by Muniz underscore ri so it is preparing system flashing recovery image flashing the modem and now it's right in the system so I'm gonna let that do its thing and you guys can watch that if not let's go ahead and fast forward this video okay so now it is successful so you wanna the next thing you wanna do is you wanna go to wipe cache dabic you want to swipe that you want to hit back and you want to go to home once the rom has finished installing through the zip you want to click on advance and you want to click sorry now you want to click on reboot you want to click reboot to download This is the part where you download the stock ROM, the stock ROM, I'm sorry, the stock kernel. So we're going to install the stock kernel through Odin. I'm going to take you back to my computer screen. Okay, so you're going to need the stock kernel. You're going to click on the Android file host. This is the NJ5 stock kernel. And it, it is a tar.md5 file, so you can use it through Odin. You want to hit begin downloading and just download the primary. It's normal. You want to open up Odin 3.10 run it as an administrator you want to hit yes and then make sure your phone is in download mode which it should already be connected to your computer it should say added you want to click on the AP and you want to go to that file which is right here stock kernel so it would be this one you want to hit open and you're gonna please wait and then it's gonna be successful it's gonna it's gonna be successful so it's valid and you want to hit start it's gonna go through your boot and then it should finish up here soon and that's how you downgrade from Android 4.4.4 .4 to Android 4.4.2 root it and then re-upgrade to 4.4.4 .4 to get the latest software version if this video helped I would appreciate you guys giving me a thumbs up um, I will show you that I am running 4.4.4 .4 .4 and that everything did go well so I'm gonna take you back to my phone okay there it is 4.4.4 .4 .4. I'm gonna verify that route it's gonna ask for super user request ran it congratulations the device has root see you guys in the next video hope you enjoyed